I think it's very important for you to to be able to share your information, not like one on one, but to share your information to the mass. <laughs> what would be well, your other goal? So, you know, probably my, my goal this year, the mortgage business um, from several statistics that I've seen um, from the analysts that are, you know, way smarter than me. Again, I'm the simple dude. Uh, they're expecting the volume to, to fall off 30% or more because interest rates are going up. Um, they all think that refinances are gone. We took four refinances last week. So it's, uh, uh, I think the purchase market this year is going to be difficult because there's a lot of, um, there, there's not a lot of properties. So there's not a lot of loans to go around. You know, there's, there's only so many houses you can sell. They're not for sale. So I think our goal is to stay within 20. I think 25% was the last number that I wrote down. If we can stay within 25% of what we did last year. Now, last year was a record year. So if we can do that, and I think the way to do that, quite frankly, is to, to just keep doing the right thing. We, uh, there, there's a difference between advertising and marketing. Right. And we don't advertise. We don't take billboards out. We don't take magazine um, ads out. I just don't believe in that because you're shooting out to all these different people. So what we do is we like for people to think of, you know, when you're thinking mortgage, we think of Mark Baker, the mortgage maker, kind of a catchy phrase that a friend of mine came up with. And, you know, I've got it on my truck. We send out postcards to our past clients only. We don't do farms looking for new clients. We don't buy Internet leads. Just because, you know, the acquisition cost of that consumer is expensive. So if we can get all the people um, to just keep calling us because they know us, they like us and trust us, and that trust is so hard. It's so, so hard in this world, right? If you do something that, that, that puts somebody's trust in you out, it takes forever to gain that trust back. You know, I preach this to my kids, right? If you lie to me, man, I'm, I'm, it's going to be a long time before I start believing. You. If you the consumer, they're not going to believe you again, maybe ever. So if you just if you're just up front with people, if you be honest, if you say, hey, listen, you need to refinance your house or you need to do this. And, and whether you use me for a mortgage or not, call me, I'll help you. You know, I, we, I, I mean that. I really do mean it. And, and from that, Gosh, we, you know, the, our phones ring with a lot of new transactions. So we're, we're, we truly are best and blessed so much. And I, I don't know, Alexandra, you're, you're asking a great question. I, my goal is to stay within 25% of what we did last year. I, I believe we're going to do better than that because we're having an unbelievable month this month and in the last three weeks. Maybe. So I, I believe we're going to do okay. I think we're going to, I think we're going to make it. Awesome. I know you're going to make it and you're going to make it even better. You guys are always improving. And it doesn't mean that you say yes to everybody. And this right. is what, this is the part of the honesty that I appreciate about you, Mark, is that you don't say yes to everybody in terms if they don't need to refinance, if they don't need that mortgage, if they, if that mortgage is too much for them, you are honestly telling them no. We do. Well, unfortunately, we talk some people out of it. Um, it's cost me some relationships with some real estate agents.